Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can import data from Excel into Microsoft Project. So first of all, let's get a blank file. Now the way you do it is not copy and paste, although I am going to use copy and paste special for a graph later on. It's file open is what you need. So I'm going to file open. And then I'm going to browse to the file, the Excel file. So I need to change this to Excel, all files. And I've got an Excel file already in here, this one. So when you open that Excel file, it starts the import wizard. And I've done a video already about the export wizard, sending data into Excel from project. So you just follow this wizard through. So you have the ability to use an existing map what it means by map is mapping fields from excel into projects you may have already created an existing map well we'll do a new one and then you follow it through it's going to be a new project or you can append the data if you wanted to next now you've got three options here if you tick all three it will bring all this information in but I'm just going to take the tasks. I'm not interested in resources. Well, I haven't got any resources in Excel, so I'm just going to do tasks and then next. And then you get the, the first look at things. So basically you can map fields or get rid of fields. So that's obviously a mistake. It doesn't like that. So I'll just delete that one off. And I've got the ID, the name, start date and finish date. And then you can see what it's going to look like in project on the bottom there. That's OK. And then I go next. Then it's asking me, do I want to save that map? Yes, I will save this map. And I'll just overwrite the previous one I did. OK. Save that. So I've saved the map. And then I can just click on finish. And then it drops that into project and then you have to do a little bit of editing in project so um, basically what you've got is indications in this column that these tasks are start no earlier than or finish no earlier than so I don't want that I'm just going to highlight all of these go to the information option and just set that back to the default, which is on the advanced tab. Constraint as soon as possible for this type of project. Click OK to that. And I also want these indenting um, underneath the title. So the title is there. And now you can see that you've got the durations coming in. Everything's sitting there. Then it's a case of just doing your links that you would normally do and then you're ready to go. So this is going to be two, three, four, and then that's going to be two SS and that's going to be um, two, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's going to be six and nine or whatever that's the link or something similar to that now what i did in excel if i open the excel file so just go into excel and um, open an excel file excuse that one just open i want to open a file that's that's a source file for that that we just brought in just to mention um, something. So this is a source file in Excel. Now what I've done, obviously it's just straightforward task names, but on the start date and the finish date, I've actually put the date time. You can see the date and the time there and the finish. Um, that's just a milestone. So I'm going to a task there that finishes on 1700 and that starts at 800. So that's all I've done on that one. That's the change. We'll just close that. now. If you want to bring a chart in, which is what I'm going to do now, is if I click on this, do control C and then go back into project. And let's sit in this. This is OK. I'm going to paste that and link it into this Gantt chart view. 
So you go to the paste option, paste special, paste link, and then you've got three options. I'll just leave it as the Excel one. Okay. The graph comes in. And you can move that or make it smaller. And this could be like, I know this is not really relevant casualties, but it's it's just the process I'm showing you. So now that is a live link to the Excel file. So if I go back into charting file and any of this data changes. So this is actually, say it was budget information used using Excel to monitor your budgets. And you just want that sitting in project as well. You can see that that's updated. So whatever changes you make in Excel is automatically going to update in project to give you a figure. Now you can create your own views and you might just want a view that has this on. I've done a video where I've just got a, a graph. I've moved all this across and the whole screen is just the graph itself. I'm not really bothered about these tasks. Um, it's totally up to you how you want that to do to be displayed. Uh, sometimes people think that's a bit easier to do than creating a graph in project under reports, but whatever whatever you want to do, that, that is a functionality. You can do the paste special paste link into project and opening things like this is quite straightforward. Now, because we have saved a map, if I go file open and browse, and pick that up. I could have picked it up from the list there. I've just seen it. So it's an Excel file or all files. Pick it up again. Now this time, because we've used a map, we can just go next, use the existing map, next, and then you get the list of maps. And you can see that there's some preset ones there already, which is worth having a look at. Just the different columns, different fields. Next, as a new project, next. Uh, the tasks are ticked because that's what the map said and there you go and then you can just go finish and it drops it into a new project and you're ready to go again with that information because you've got those fields mapped so that's basically all I want to talk about in this little session how to get data from Excel into project using the map feature and how to get a graph from Excel into project using paste special and paste link so hopefully that was of use for you to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.